Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Atara and I am so excited for today's video. We're gonna be unboxing and reviewing a brand new product launch. Drum roll please. I present to you Juvia's Place. So this is called the Nude Series. I'm not even gonna tell you what's inside. I'm just gonna let you see for yourself and let your imagination run wild. This is how the packaging looks, gorgeous as always. <laughs> okay, so let's open her up. So here it is, guys. And if you still can't guess what it is, it's a lip collection. So you've got glosses, you've got lipsticks, and you've got lip liners. There's six lip liners, seven glosses, and 12 lipsticks. So I'm gonna be trying them all on for you. Pray for my lips, guys, because they're gonna be going through a lot today. <laughs> now, I am also gonna swatch, but obviously there's so many shades there, I can't swatch like down my arms. I'm not gonna have enough room. I'm gonna be going all the way here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna swatch and go. So I will swatch the first shade, try it on my lips, and then repeat with the second shade. So if you're as excited as I am and you wanna see how they look, keep watching. So I decided since there are only six lip liners, I'll swatch these on my hands for you guys to have a quick idea of how they look. So here's how the lip liners look. It has the colour here, the shade name on there as well. So this one is Love Me. Take off the top and twist it upwards. Oh, they feel really like creamy and smooth. So this is the shade Love Me. The next one is in the shade Lush. And we've got Scorpio. Next up is Cola. Then we've got So Rare, which is a softer brown. And then last but not least, we've got Sweet Nothing. So that's all six shades of the lip liners. I feel like it's always better to swatch lip liners first because they're not always like an exact match to the shade that it shows on the packaging. So here's how they all look. Comment below which one is your favorite. I think my favorites will definitely be Lush, which is this second one here, and Cola, which is the fourth one. Yeah. yeah, I swatched the lip liners, so I'm not gonna bother putting them all on my lips because we're gonna be trying on lipsticks and I want you guys to see the lipstick shades on their own. And I just wanted to quickly show you guys because I actually missed this myself, but it is broken down into sections. So these four here are the chocolates. One, two, three, four. These four here are the morphs. I don't know if that's how you say it, morph, morph. <laughs> and then the last four here are the peaches. And then if we spin it round, the glosses are also broken up into sections. So the top three are titled glass gloss, and then the bottom four is just gloss. So on the box, it says lip reflect gloss. So I guess one probably has more of like a high shine compared to the other, but we'll see when we swatch them. I'm gonna swatch the lipsticks first, and then we'll move on to the glosses. So here are the four shades that are in the peaches category. So we've got the shades Mademoiselle, In Vogue, Libra, and Me. So let's open up the first one, which is Mademoiselle. Oh, and look at this, guys. Look at the packaging. So pretty. I love that. It's like a blush pink and it fades out into like a ombre. Got the little Juvius stamped on the top there. Then it has the shade name on the bottom. Oh, they smell really good too. It has kind of like a vanilla -y, cocoa buttery type of smell. It just smells really yummy. I don't think my camera is clear enough to show, but it kind of looks like really velvety and soft. Oh, they're really creamy. Excuse my dry lips, guys. I look like I've just ate some sugar donuts. This is a nice nude shade. Obviously, I would wear it with a lip liner, and it feels really lightweight and creamy. Like it's not drying, it doesn't feel heavy. So this is the shade Mademoiselle. Let me just add a bit more to see how it would look with more of a full coverage. With a brown lip liner, this will look cute. So that's how Mademoiselle looks. So the next shade we've got is In Vogue. 
mm, I'm not keen on it. I feel like I would like it more if I was to put like a dark brown lip liner and then put this in the centre <laughs> on its own for me is a no no. So that's in vogue. So I am also swatching them on the back of my hand here as I go along so you guys can see. So this is the first shade I tried and this is the one I have on right now. Next we've got Libra. I think I'm gonna like this one, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, I like it. Here is Libra. And then again, compared to the others, this one is Libra right here. The last one in the peaches section is called Me. I like the shade and obviously with lipsticks you can apply it really lightly just like hint of color or you can apply it full-on like how I've done so this is the shade me and then there it is compared to the first three okay so now we've got the morphs I hope I'm saying that right I love how the packaging is the same shade as whatever's in the box so for this section we've got 2020 chick a morph moment and kebby I really hope I'm saying more right because if not, that will be really awkward. We've got the first shade, which is 2020. This is a nice, like, blush pink shade. Matches my bottom lip. I like this shade. Again, I would pair it with a liner. I think any lipstick I would pair with a liner, but this is how it looks on its own. So that is 2020. And then there is the swatch against the others on the back of my hand. So the next shade is Chick. This is already really light. I do like the colour, but again, I would definitely have to pair this with a lip liner. So that's how Chick looks. There's the swatch of it. And then here it is on the back of my hand as well, so you can compare the two. Next, we've got a morph moment. So here's a morph moment. And there it goes on the back of my hand. And then for the last of the morph section, we've got Kebby. So there's Kebby. And then again, on the back of my hand, just to compare to the others. So the last section of the Velvet Matte Lipsticks is the chocolates. So we've got the shades Coca. Toffee, Muted, and Lady. So the first shade is Lady. So this on its own is a no, but definitely with like a brown lip liner, it would look really nice. So here is Lady. There is the swatch from the back of my hand. Next, we've got Muted. which I think would look nice in the center of like a dark brown or with a dark brown lip liner. But on its own, it just looks like I've got foundation on my lips. So here's muted and there is the swatch on the back of my hand. Now we're gonna try toffee. And there is toffee. Again, on the back of my hand, there's toffee. And then last, we've got cocoa. So here's Coca, and there's the swatch there on the back of my hand. Okay guys, so now we're going to swatch the glass glosses. We've got the shades So Glazed, It's Electric, and It's Glass. So we're going to do So Glazed first, Ooh. and again, these smell really nice. They have like a sweet smell to them. and they don't feel like sticky, they feel quite silky. So here is So Glazed. Next up we have It's Electric. So I feel like once it's on, it pretty much looks clear, but you can see obviously it does have more of a yellow tint to it. So there's It's Electric, even on my hand you can't really see the color. And I've run out of space on this hand, so I have started swatching them on the back of this hand. So that's So Glazed, the first shade I tried, and then this is the one I have on now. And just ignore my freckly hands. The last one from the glass gloss section, <laughs> glass gloss section, is It's Glass. And I love when 
brands do lip glosses and they include a clear gloss. So it pretty much speaks for itself, it's just a clear gloss. I'll still go ahead and put it on so you guys can see. That's it, just a clear gloss. So you can wear it on its own or put it on top of lip liners, other lipsticks. And then there's the swatch on the back of my hand. Last up, we've got the Lip Reflex Glosses. So we've got the shades Sis, Caramel Rose, Barely There, and Kiss Me. So I'm gonna start off with Kiss Me first. I'm more of like a nude lip girl. I don't usually wear pinks that much. So that is Kiss Me. I've swatched it on the back of my hand as well. Next up is Barely There. So this is more of like a nude. I think I'm gonna like it, but I might wanna pair it with a liner. I definitely need to pair this with a liner. This is Barely There. And again, swatched on the back of my hand. Now we're gonna try Sis. Oh, yes, my kind of colour. Yes, yes. So there's Sis. And the very last one is Camel Rose. I'm definitely going to like this one as well. I can already tell. Oh. I don't even need to put like a lipstick on under this. I literally can wear it on its own. I feel like I'm doing the queen's wave. And then there is the swatch. So I literally have swatched everything. I even went back and swatched the liners. So I'll read out the names going from the bottom to the top. So at the bottom we have Scorpio. Above that is Cola. Then you've got So Rare. Then Sweet Nothing. Next one is Lush. And the very top is Love Me. So that is it guys. I know, I know, you didn't want this video to come to an end, neither did I. My thoughts on this collection, love it. I'm not just saying it because they sent it to me, like I genuinely love it, like I feel like pretty much nearly all of the shades and glosses I would wear. They all smell really yummy and they apply really nicely as well. Packaging is really pretty, so what's not to love? I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one on because I like it. Let me know what your favorite shades were. Do you prefer the velvet matte lipsticks, the glass gloss, <laughs> or the lip reflect glosses? If you guys made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also, for any of you that are loving my eye makeup, I'll put the link to the tutorial for that in the description box. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram if you haven't already. Bye guys.